But if you look at everything that they say, it's all predicated on that. Yes. It's all predicated on the idea that white people are somehow inherently Even the terminology better. they use. Yeah, white supremacy. I mean, like, I never... That's not even what I'm thinking. Well, I would never say that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, but, yeah the, the fact that they throw that around all yeah. the time, right? As if like they actually yeah. believe that ideology. They want you to think, but, well, white people are supreme. Like, yeah. I don't think that. I just think we're normal. I, I even yeah. think, uh, you know, quote unquote, politically correct terms like mm. um, a person of color, people of color. Because what that is saying is all that means is non-white. Yeah. So the reason that term bothers me <laughs> um, is because it's it's simultaneously way too broad mm. and way too specific. So there's no term for non-black person. Yeah. Right. There's not a term yeah. of like everyone who's not black. Why would that be? Yes. <laughs> like, but, why would you but, need one? Yes, but there's a term for everyone who's not white. Yeah. yeah. Right. Whether yeah. you're, whether you are, um, you could be, you could be Arab, you could be Latino, you could be mixed, you could be, um, Asian, indigenous, you could be, you could be Asian, Asian all sorts of yeah. Asian. You could be Indian, you could be Pakistani, you could be African, you could be mm. Caribbean. What you all fall into that people of color basket. Yeah, yeah. Which to me, I'm like, okay, so you're saying it's like, it's like white people yeah. and everybody else. I mean, I don't know globally what percentage of the population, quote unquote, white people are. About 13%. 13%, I Something was going to say, like probably under 15% globally. Mm -hmm. um, so the vast majority of the world, according to this labeling, is people of color. But at the same time, you then, and then you're, it's also yeah. way too broad because then you're also lumping in all of these completely disparate groups. Often you hate each other. <laughs> Often you really don't like each other. They don't have anything. <laughs> There's no sort of through line between yeah. Indians and Nigerians and Pakistanis Peruvians. and Iraqis and Peruvians yeah, yeah, yeah. and Colombians. Yeah. I'm, like, I'm like, what is this term? Yeah, right? Like yeah, people yeah, of yeah. color. And they, and they say it as if it's just this sort of, this block. This yeah. sort of, right? yeah. Yeah, this, no, no, this sort of block. And I'm like, what, what does yeah. that even mean? But that's the, that's the thing. You can see what they're trying to do is bring into coalition non-white people yeah. against white people. Yes. I mean, why, why would you... And like you said, that absolutely puts the idea of white people on a pedestal. Mm -hmm. So, no, 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 we've got to bring the entire rest of the world into agreement against you. It's like, that's wild. Like, why would, why would that be the way you think? But it has to be predicated on the idea that they think that white people have some sort of special superior place in the world. Mm -hmm. And that's just not true. Yeah, you well, know, well, they say it. I mean, they yeah, they, they, do they use the term white supremacy more yeah. than anybody. It's it's also strange because prior to about seven or eight years ago, hmm. I want to say there was like a at least a decade period of my life where like I almost never heard the term white supremacy, and then it sort of came back into the lingo in hmm. mid twenty tens, and they started using it in this new way, which simply means well, it, it can literally mean. Sometimes they use it to mean anything that's good. Yeah. <laughs> sometimes yeah, they're, 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 they're literally like, you know, here, here are examples of white supremacy. Yeah. Um, being on time. I know. Um, hard, work, hard work ethic. Saving um, for the future. Saving, <laughs> and I'm looking at this like, well, I'm, I'm a I'm white not, supremacist I'm, and I didn't I'm, know it. <laughs> I'm like, wait, hang on here. Are these not just things that make an individual or a community more likely to be successful? Yeah. And you're calling of, that white supremacy or it's just a room of people and it's predominantly mm. white and that might be in Ireland or England or ah, Sweden. Yes. Ireland, and it's the, suddenly yeah. like, oh, this is white supremacy. I'm like, no, no more than if you yeah. took a photo of a boardroom in Nigeria and no more than that photo is, is black supremacy. No one would look at that or, you, oh, look, here's the, um, here are MPs in China. No one would look at that. Oh my gosh, look at this Asian supremacy, right? Where's the diversity? Where It are the, doesn't make any it, sense. It, it doesn't make sense. Yeah. But then when it comes yeah. to European nations yeah. um, or, you know, white, white, predominantly white countries, there's this weird, and, and what's even weirder about it is, I must say, it mostly comes from white people. Oh yeah. I, re <laughs> it's because they're, they're I, guilty. They feel yeah, guilty. It, it, it's, it's very odd. Like I'll, I'll be there yeah. and I'm, I'm just there like, okay, like I'll, I'll see some outcry. I remember um, it was this year, wasn't it? Where they had the royal family. That was that balcony photo of the royal family. Yeah, yeah. And someone, some predominant, somewhat predominant person made a comment about the lack of, the lack of diversity or how, how white the <laughs> British royal family was. And I'm, <laughs> I'm, just, <laughs> I, 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 I'm, I'm genuinely just like, what on earth are you 
what are you talking about? Well, what, what, like, what I love about this is that oh that that's it's that point that you're like, oh, the exclusivity of the royal family has gone too far, is it? It's like, <laughs> no, 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 bro, you don't understand how exclusive this family is. Like to get into the royal family, you have to marry into it. You know, there's the, there's no uh, diversity hiring in the royal family. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like you can't apply to join it. I can't join it. Yeah. It'll forever exclude me. And you know what? That's fine. Yeah. Like it's not about the color, but I mean it is for these people. But the the thing the thing about this is that you the alternative. So you notice that what what we're using here are categories, but like as you said, they're they're at once insanely specific, but also ridiculously broad. Mm-hmm. So they they reference something that's a really really shallow description of a person, yes. but also it includes literally everyone LGBTQIAA2SP on Earth. You know? plus plus plus. Yeah, exactly. And so it's like a really broad thin puddle, yeah. you know, that's really really shallow. But it get, but it but this is a this is what we could call like a rational uh term. It's an abstract term. So say that something's white, I mean this table is white. Yeah. Is this part of the white supremacy because you know, exa- <laughs> you know, it, it's like okay, so a color is actually something that is not unique to any one particular people. It's not unique to human beings. Yeah. It is not very descriptive either, actually. You know, I mean when you say white, do you it's not mean, accurate? It, it, it is accurate, but it's not very informative. Mm. You know, it, it is technically true that, say, you know, both the Irish and the Germans are both white, but you oh, can... Sorry, when I said it's not accurate, what I mean is, like, no one is actually white or black. Oh, yeah, but... Yeah, yeah. In terms too, of, yeah. like, what you, uh, colors actually mean. But if but if you yeah. say, well, look, these people share a skin tone, and yeah. so do these people, and it's like, yeah, okay... That's true, okay. but it doesn't tell us anything about and? the civil. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like, it, it doesn't tell us anything about the civilizations themselves. No. You know, like the, there's there's a world of difference between you know the German work ethic and the Italian work ethic. Mm-hmm. You know, and yet they're really close together on the map. They're you know they're close together in skin tones. They've got a shared history into a way, and yet they're very different people. And so saying, well, white people are all the same. No, but neither are black people or brown people mm. or Chinese people or whatever it is. You know, it. The question isn't about this thin, rationalistic construct. The question is about the sort of deep and rich continuum of a civilization. Yes. So the the reason I think that Dubai works is because fundamentally you're going to have, I mean, I guess we'll just call it Arab civilization in Dubai. That's the continuum of civilization that has always been the case in Dubai. And so if you're a foreigner mm-hmm. coming from, say, you know, Israel or coming from Russian Orthodox mm-hmm. areas or something like that, you are the bearer of a civilization as well. Yes. And that civilization is very evident on you. You know, you're you're you've got whatever signifiers around whatever language you speak, but you've come to a place that is conscious of its own civilization as yeah. well and says, right, okay, this means that differences can actually be respected. Yes. As in they are is presupposed that everyone's different, mm-hmm. but it's also presupposed that there's a position of pride or privilege that is just for the host civilization, yes, right? And that's what the left and liberalism can't accept. And you know what's particularly interesting about a place like the UAE, or the same applies to Qatar, mm-hmm. is that the local Emirati or um, respectively uh, Qatari mm. populations are only about 10 to 15% yeah, small, aren't they? of the total population. Yeah. So actually foreigners is the vast majority yeah. of the population. However they still maintain you still you you're, you're still in their mm. country so that they manage to maintain a sort of situation that is very beneficial to everybody mm. so whether you're someone like myself who wants to go and set up a company in dubai and become a resident and live there work there raise my future family there whatever mm. they set it up so that it's very very favorable for me mm. and they also set it up so that it's favorable for their local it's actually beneficial. Emirati citizens. So yeah. there's this mutually beneficial thing. And what that also does is it doesn't create the same problems that mass migration does, say, yeah. in America or the UK or whatever, yeah. because there isn't this there isn't this resentment. Like yes. I said, there's no welfare state. Yeah. So there's not, oh my gosh, these people are just coming in and they're leeching off our thing, yeah. or they're coming in and they're misbehaving and they're running gangs and they're committing crime and they're harming. So, yeah. so all of that stuff that people take massive, massive issue with, rightly so, yeah. um, it, it, it's, all just, it's all just nipped in the bud. I don't know how, it might be the case that this is not completely scalable. It might be the yeah. fact, okay, this is a city, this is a country of 10 million people and this might not work exactly in a country of 60 million or a country of 
340 million taking the USA. Um, but then I don't know because I look at places like there's Sweden no, there's and no, Austria there's and no so attempt. on and there's still... There's no attempt yeah. to even enforce the rules. Mm-hmm. I mean, America had this problem uh, not long after its founding, actually, right? Because the there, were, there was a lot of German immigration into America. Yes. And in the 18th, 19th, early 19th century, they were very concerned. They were like, oh, hang on a second. What if this starts becoming like a Germanized country rather than being an English-speaking country? And so they asserted the English culture of America over the German culture. And mm. you can do this. It's not You don't have to be aggressive. You don't have to hurt anyone or anything like that. You say, no, the, you are going to learn English in school. You are going to have to read signs in English. <coughs> it's, it's going to be yes. that this is the dominant culture because this is what you have moved from where you've come from, to to be a part of. Yes. And that's totally understandable. So it's a kind of recognition of difference and respect of difference. Yes. And just to say, no, these are our lines, as you were saying, like the hard lines. This is just going to be the hard line. And yeah. you just, you know that coming in. Mm-hmm. And so your your expectations are tempered when you arrive. So yes, if we move to America, we're going to have to learn English. Yeah. And this is, you, you, hear, you constantly can read accounts of uh, immigrants who came from, let's say, Russia, in the beginning of the 20th century. And they would say, oh, my parents would make sure we only spoke English at home. Yes. And it's like, well, that's because they wanted you to follow the rules. Mm-hmm. They wanted you to integrate. They wanted you to become an American, which is why they'd come in the first place. And when that is the expectation of the people coming there, it turns out that immigration can work just fine because yeah. that integration just happens as a matter of course. When you have now what we, what we call multiculturalism, where we've got absolutely no expectations on the people coming here, it's it's, it's more like it's, it's more like non-culturalism. Yeah. It's, almost, it's almost like yeah, it's, no, no, it's, it's, it's just the, like there, there's no culture. No, no, just, it's, it, but that's the point, isn't it? That's why the that's why they have to constantly attack the native cultures. Mm-hmm. Like, oh no, no, you're imposing yourself on this. So what they what they're suggesting is that anyone can come across and set up a little colony of their former homeland in wherever they've come to, and that's totally fine. Yeah. It's like no, that's destructive. And what you would call colonialism in any other context, mm. 